Hi, I'm Professor Steve Rowe, and I'm a real paleontologist, and you're watching Real Paleontology. And today in my Super Predator series, I'm going to very briefly talk about a cute little pocket saber tooth from Colombia. This is obviously a bit of a deviation because this animal is clearly too small to be a card carrying super predator. But I just can't give up the opportunity, partly because in many respects it represents the primitive form of a much larger saber tooth that is a candidate for a super predator badge of honour. And partly because today marks exactly one year since publication of this wonderful new material. It also improves our understanding of its more recent and lethal looking big brother, Thylacus malus. And lastly, I want to draw attention to it because although it's an awesome fossil discovery, almost no one seems to have heard about it. So folks, meet Anaclocyctus gracilis, a little Colombian sister to the great marsupial radiation and little brother to the awesome Thylacus malus atrox, the most extreme mammalian saber tooth ever. Now we've known about Anaclocyctus since 1997, but until last year, pretty much all we had was this somewhat cryptic lower jaw here. This was described and formally named by Francisco Goyne. I remember Francisco putting me up for a couple of days in Argentina some years ago. Shout out to you, Francisco. Anyway, in October of last year, Catalina Suarez and colleagues published a description of the skull and much of the postcranial skeleton of Anaclocyctus. So, who the hell is Anaclocyctus, and what does it tell us that we didn't know already? Well, Anaclocyctus is a metatherian, that is, it's not a marsupial, but it is very closely related, and it's part of a pretty big radiation of South American carnivores called sporacidons. These thrive through much of the Cenozoic. This group includes beasts that group to bear size, like this probal hyena. Anaclocyctus itself lived between about 14 and 12 million years ago. All this we knew already, but what's new is that we can now firmly pigeonhole Anaclocyctus into its own genus. Up until now, some remained sceptical of this and placed it in the same genus as Thylacus malus. It also helps us to better understand where it and its two closest relatives, Thylacus malus and another metatherian saber tooth, Patagus malus here, sit in the Sprassodon family tree, in their own little saber-tooth family, the Thylacus malidae. Now, obviously, we also have a way better idea of what Anaclocyctus actually looked like. Until now, pretty much everything other than the lower jaw was guesswork. Now we know that it had well-developed saber-teeth, although still much smaller than the extreme sabers of Thylacus malus. We can now also much more confidently predict its size at around 22 kilo or 49 pounds, it was about the same weight as a medium-sized dog. So a resin code determined also that it was a true hypercarnival, that is, it would have obtained the vast majority of its sustenance from meat. Its cheek teeth were very poorly adapted to cracking bones, which it almost certainly went out of its way to avoid. Importantly, Anaclocyctus gives us new insight into the evolutionary process that resulted in the extreme specializations of Thylacus malus. For example, it lacks a number of features such as the postorbital bar here in Thylacus malus, and it has a longer, flatter skull. So a residual don't speculate on how Anacholyptus killed its prey other than to note that the large canines clearly played an important role. I, for one, look forward to seeing a more detailed analysis of this aspect of its behavior. It'll be interesting in and of itself, but may also help to resolve controversy over how Thylacus malus behaved too. And as many of you may know, it has been argued that Thylacus malus was not actually an active predator, but a uniquely adapted scavenger. I'll wind it up here. I hope you enjoyed this little episode on this little saber tooth, which incidentally gives me a seamless segue into the next episode, which will focus on Anaclocyctus's big brother, the most extreme saber-tooth ever, Thylacus malus. And with Thylacus malus, the whole saber-tooth thing went completely nuts. Incidentally, it's my birthday today, and all I ask for is a little like and subscribe. It'll make me feel wanted.